Oh yeah. I just want to bring up something that is so beautiful in Israel. And I'm so blessed to be part of it. And it's not only me, like hundreds of thousands of people Jews in Israel living in communities, like in community settlements. And it's so amazing, like it's mamish, mamish, amazing to be part of a community in that way. We're like living together. You have a life together, it's like mamish, mamish, am echad belev echad. One nation, one heart. And some communities are like big, like four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand families. Some are smaller, like ours, like Moshama, and we're 80 families. Some of them have many Ulim Chadashim, some have few. We are uh, quite a, an Israeli place where we live. Jews, like from North Africans, Gemini's, French Jews, South African, from Scottish, and so on. But there's a beauty. The unity among the people. And this you can find in many Ishrim community settlements across Yudhaya Vashon. Even bigger ones, like it's a kind of unity, like people really care about each other. In a different way. Because even in if you're living in a city, you have like my shul, your shul, maybe community center here, community center there. And that's it. You like still like with your group of people. I assume it's the same in America, in England, Australia, many other places. Like you, you, you keep it to yourself. You don't want to mingle like with with other people. Like eh, it's not for me. I'm keeping to the people I feel comfortable with. But the Jewish nation is not only Ashkenazim. We're only Sfardim, Gemnites. We are all like a Jewish nation. And, and also in a, in a community settlement, like many times you're like, uh, in the religious ones, you have a, a couple of rabbis, plenty of rabbis, depends on the size of the place, and then you still have like the Mara the Atra. So no matter like who you are yourself and what you believe in, but it's still like the Mara and the Atra that everyone respects. And it doesn't matter if it's Ashkenaz or Sfardi. His job is like to please everyone. And that's beautiful. That's open-mindedness. You can't be narrow-minded in such a place. Because you have to understand what she taught and where people come from. And also when you're living in a community settlement, when you get to learn many different people. Also like in, in shul like you, maybe the person next to you is yeah, from North Africa. And, and the one behind you, maybe half a Gemini, half a Moroccan. Your children's best friends are real, real, real Svaradim from Tunis, or I don't know. And on Shabbos, Shabbos, there you will learn to, there you get to learn so much more. When this real Moroccan family invites you home for Shabbos meal, and you will not have your usual chulant with kishke. You will have Moroccan fish and you will have hamin, chamin. It's also kind of chulant, but not the Ashkenaz one. I find you also Ashkenaz, you have a plenty of different kind of chulant. And this is Am Yisrael. This is what HaKadosh Baruch wants from us. You want Kuba and Kubana? But the Sfardim. You want your Kishke? But Ashkenazim. 
You want to get filter fish? Ashkenazi. This is the beauty when you live in a community settlement that you have everyone such a love mamish mamish. And you will also be like a part of the real Israel because you're among many different people. Many people who decide to move to Israel prefer to live among Anglos or French people because they say Noachli. It's more comfortable to me to be among my own people. But it's not a danger because you will not learn to know how the Israeli society works. Because if all your friends and you're working in English, how can you then learn like how to fill out a form? Like when your kids start like in Gan, kindergarten, school, whatever, like you have to know Hebrew. You can't scream around, I need my help in English because you're living in Israel like in I'm sorry to tell you about Israel. In Israel Hebrew is the national language, not English, not French. Many places we think that Russian is, but it is Hebrew. You didn't move to Israel to be in Chutzlars, you moved to Israel because you want to be here and be part of it. It's also easier to stay in Israel, to find your place in Israel if you're among Israelis and not only among Ulim Chadashim. Because then you will not compare how it was, no, it's so great, you know, like you. You're happy with your part, like what you have. You're trying to be Israeli, and you understand like the beauty of being Israeli and the beauty of living in Israel from the Israeli viewpoint. So whoever wants to really enjoy and experience a lovely community settlement, the Israeli one, Mom is Anashim shooting very simple people. I'm happy to help you. Here Mushamon was happy to have people. Here is a one family in a strong family with a lot of love. You can also find it in other places, but this is unique. It's a community me'al that's above many other things. So in the meantime, I wish you all beautiful day and the Surat Hashem I will welcome you all with open arms when you decide to come here to see this place is for you or if you want to find some other place I will be more than happy to help you out as well may God bring strength to all of us and the Surat Hashem that we always see the light of, of the Ayubishte of and understand that our place is here and not there keep well everyone Kol Tufa